Each morning, the grounds of St. George's School echo with whispered prayers. Eager feet hurry through the halls, filled with beautiful memories and youthful dreams of decades past. Of thousands of students who have passed before them, carrying a priceless legacy that began 50 years ago. Late Father V.C. George, a missionary priest of the Indian Orthodox Church, laid the foundation of a primary school in 1962 in a spirit of service to the nation and named it St. George's School. Even though the funds were few and the classes operated from rented rooms, the school soon acquired an enviable reputation of quality education. We, all three of us, are very old teachers of this school and in olden days also when it got started, our children went to other school with no difficulty because we gave them a value-based education. Impressed by the school's quality education, in 1982, the school was taken over by the Muthud Group, which runs non-profit schools and hospitals as a service to community. But the Muthud Group wanted to do much more. Even though the school was founded in 1962, school never had a land of its own. Rajiv Gandhi was particular to give us a land, seeing how dedicated the school, so small but disciplined school. And uh, he was kind enough to allot six acres of land. In a rare sign of official recognition of the Muthud Group's spirit of service, the erstwhile President Shankar Dayal Sharma not only laid the foundation stone, but also inaugurated the school building. The building was planned on a massive scale, an imposing stately piece of architecture covering 100,000 square feet of floor area with large, airy classrooms. Entire floors dedicated to labs and libraries are joining large, well-kept grounds. Today, it has become one of the most recognized landmarks of South Delhi. The secret to the school's outstanding results is openness to new ideas and wholehearted participation amongst the staff. Interesting features like the school newspaper creates healthy curiosity in young minds about the world around them. At St. George's, there are no shortcuts. Students are taught the value of working smart and developing their minds. Using child-centered learning methods, students are not just evaluated on a final exam, but through the year, the teachers monitor performance and identify their strengths and weaknesses, allowing them to take immediate corrective action. We have question setting competition for teachers and after teaching for so many years, we know exactly how students approach a problem and how they think. There is a lot of psychology involved in it. However, there is never a dull moment in the classrooms. Fundamentals are inculcated into them through a number of interesting methods. My favorite is mind mapping, using my imagination to connect facts and concepts. After this done, it is like making a photograph of a subject, easy to remember, cool, isn't it? The buddy system, the round tables and the interviews are just my favorites. I mean, after you have argued and discussed over a subject, you're just never going to forget it. And we just want to learn the subjects better and better because we want to impress our friends. One of the most revolutionary tools used by the school are the diagnostic testing programs that generate detailed reports of students' conceptual understanding and problem-solving skills. Not only do teachers get an in-depth insight into a child's progress and the common misconceptions that they have, but also his or her standing at the national level. Regardless of a defined code of conduct and demanding academic programs, successive batches of students have developed a deep attachment to the school. The first batch of 10th was very sentimentally attached to the school and they came crying saying that, no, we don't want to go into another school, we would like to do it here only. So I had to speed up everything and immediately start 11th class here. 
and that was a wonderful experience also. During the last few decades, St. George's School has been an early adopter of advanced technology and various self-paced learning and practice tools. The maths-oriented learning software adapts learning to a gaming platform. Students must pass through a series of questions designed to test an all-round grasp of each topic. This intelligent software can adjust itself to his or her level of skill. Maths and science have become exciting games. They have helped to improve in our subjects and as well as they are really very interesting. Tablets and mobile learning technology periods are eagerly awaited events in the day. This is also an opportunity for students of different socio-economic backgrounds to experience the latest innovations and learn from their peers. Detailed assessment helps us to identify the misconception of the students and thereby helps us to address them in an effective way. The most fascinating to watch have been the children's reactions to smart boards. The teachers have quite a task keeping the younger ones in their places. Their first brush with technology seems to be a fairly magical experience. Technology never replaces teachers. Of course, that human touch has to be there between the teachers and the students. For this, we need to train the teachers also a lot and uh, we try to do that in St. John's. Teacher training programs are the most innovative and inspiring sessions that reinforces their belief in the important role they play in shaping young minds into the responsible citizens of tomorrow. Most teachers claim an amazing boost of positivity, a belief that can expand personal boundaries. Once in our teacher training program, we were told to touch the ceiling. We thought it was a joke, so but with the help of tables and chairs, I could go up and touch the ceiling and it felt great. The most remarkable feature of St. George's School is the mandatory participation in frequent stage performances. The artistic scope is vast and ranges from exotic to the very elaborate. There are three to four performances each week and there is nothing the children and the teachers haven't tried from songs, traditional dances to western choreography to complex plays with large casts. Going on the stage and performing, it brings in a lot of confidence in the children. I have sick children blooming after going onto the stage and performing something. So every time I check the whole year's children's list to see where the children have participated and if anybody who has not participated, I definitely call the parents also and the child also, talk to them and see that they participate in something. <laughs> The recent enactment through the school's speech and drama program by fifth graders is a complex, well-performed piece, specifically graded to improve self-expression, refine their vocabulary and articulation, communication and life skills. The school prides itself in building strong, self-reliant characters capable of charting their own course through the modern world. The teachers endeavor to instill a sense of social responsibility early in a student's development. The charity box is an example in the spirit of sharing where the students decide whom to donate their collections to. For the Each One Teach One initiative, each student of the school has undertaken the task of teaching underprivileged learners around them. One of our students was even commended for teaching 20 learners on his own. The school's sports facilities are enviable. For young students, the school hosts unique programs where special props are used to tackle innovative challenges. These help to develop motor, cognitive and social skills 
enhancing the academic aptitude of the child. Be it cricket, football, table tennis or badminton. Special coaches from the school's sports academy ensure the development of a sportsman's spirit and the ability to push oneself to achieve the impossible. The gigantic cricket pitch, one of the first to be completely floodlit, has seen many inter-school teams fight it out for the Georgian Cricket Cup. Over the years, numerous awards and accolades have poured in. Shields, medals, trophies and prizes crowd our display section. Our principal, Dr. Sarah George, was conferred an honorary doctorate by the Open International University, Colombo, for her distinguished contribution to the cause of education. The Best Principal Trophy 2011, along with many other awards, for her untiring efforts that has made our institution one of the best schools across the nation. St. George's School has also emerged as a national winner consistently in the Green School Award since 2008. The Golden Peacock National Training Award was conferred on the school for the year 2011. Our students have attained the top ranks in CBSE year after year. We have come to about 3,000 students and 130 teaching staff, but otherwise also we have grown a lot because uh, people know about St. George's now. The bond that has been forged is never broken. The old students now bring their own children to school. I always found the naughty ones are the ones who come more often because uh, they have all lots of old memories to catch up on and they come and discuss with us what all happened in their student days and it's real fun to talk to them at that time. We mean by the best school is best discipline school which holds the ancient traditions, culture and ethos of our country, values of our country. We are a school who takes ordinary students and make them extraordinary. The genuine love and appreciation for the school is seen in numerous gestures. My first impression of the school was that here I could be myself. I do not need to pretend to be anyone else. There's also a deep sense of purpose and pride. One of my best memories is that whenever we won a cultural tournament, we were allowed to perform in this middle square, which is normally off grounds. In the middle of the atrium stands a statue of St. George slaying the dragon, representing victory of good over evil. St. George is the embodiment of piety, courage, kind-heartedness and justice. Qualities that we seek to uphold every day in every field of endeavor we pursue. Half a century has passed. Many of our students are spread all over the globe spreading the light from the lamps of knowledge that we have lovingly lit for all. Every year, new children swell our ranks. We hope one day they too shall walk out as proud, strong individuals and build a brave new world. Celebrating 50 years of St. George's School. <laughs>